so often so unfairly demonised and always the first to get cut when anyone diets. Jenny said she lost 10 kilos. She cut out carbs. So in today's episode, let's discuss carbs and in particular for shift workers. Shift work can be brutal, but it doesn't have to be. Welcome to A Healthy Shift. My name is Roger Sutherland, certified nutritionist, veteran law enforcement officer, and 24-7 shift worker for almost four decades. Through this podcast, I aim to educate shift workers using evidence-based methods to not only survive the rigors of shift work, but thrive. My goal is to empower shift workers to improve their health and well-being so they have more energy to do the things they love. Enjoy today's show. Hello and welcome to another episode of A Healthy Shift, your go-to podcast for thriving and not just surviving in your 24-7 shift working environment. I am your host, Roger Sutherland. I'm a veteran shift worker and evidence-based nutritionist, and I am your personal coach dedicated to helping you live your absolute best life outside of your shift working life. Now, today, we are diving into a topic that is so often misunderstood, but is incredibly important for our energy and our well-being, and that is, da-da, carbohydrates. Yep, those sometimes vilified yet very essential components of our diet. So first of all, let's understand carbohydrates. So let's start with the absolute basic. Now, it's important to note that while our body can in fact technically function without any carbohydrates, carbs are something that we should not cut out. Oh, Why? Well, carbohydrates are one of the three macronutrients that our body needs. The other two being proteins and fats. Now, they are the body's primary source of energy, and especially for our brain and central nervous system and muscles. Now, carbs come in three main forms, sugars, starches, and fiber. Now, While the sugars and the starches are often discussed, we've spoken in the last episode about fiber, and that is so crucial as well. Though fiber is not providing any direct energy for us. It just feeds that good gut microbiome and is the broom that keeps our system nice and clean. Now, proteins can, in fact, be converted to glucose, But this is a means of survival. Our body can convert proteins into glucose for our brain and central nervous system through a process which is known as gluconogenesis. Now, it would be fair to say that our body will only do this as a survival mechanism because it is not efficient at all and it is not its preferred way of going about getting energy. Now, this is why the ketards, I mean, <clears throat> sorry, those keto fools who cut carbs feel so flat and so ordinary. Now, tell me, who has actually cut carbs out of their diet? Got to go keto. Jenny said, Jenny said go keto because it's the best diet that you can possibly do because you'll lose weight. Yes, Jenny, of course it is because you're losing water weight. You're not losing body fat. When we cut carbs out, we cut glycogen out of our muscle because for every molecule of glycogen, which is the carbohydrate in its stored form, going into our liver, muscle, or bloodstream, it takes three molecules of water. So what do you think happens when we cut the carbohydrates? That's right. The water is no longer there either, and that is where the weight comes from. Now, the other thing for those ketards is, what's that increased fat in your diet doing to your arteries? You don't realise it now, but in time, you are certainly going to. But we're not here to discuss that today, are we? So let's just move right on. So let's get on to a common misconception that all carbs are bad. Now, not all carbs are bad. In fact, carbs are vital for shift workers like us. They help maintain our energy levels. They support our brain function 
and they keep our digestive system running smoothly. But the key is to understand which carbs to consume and when. So let's get into it. We've got two different types of carbs. We've got good carbs, and I'm going to call the others other carbs. Because nothing is bad. When we talk about good and other carbs, we're referring to the nutritional quality and how they affect our body. So what is a good carb? Well, good carbs are whole grains, brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread, oats. These are all packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They're really important. And let's not forget carbs, fruits, and vegetables. Now, these are excellent sources of vitamins, minerals, and also antioxidants. They also provide natural sugars and fiber. So fruits and vegetables are not to be demonized. They are an important part of our diet. Then we have legumes, beans, lentils, and peas. Now, these are very high in protein, fiber, and also beneficial nutrients. So let's just go into what are the other carbs that we talk about. Now, the other carbs come in the form of refined sugars and grains. Now, I am not demonizing either. What I'm saying to you is, these are less than nutritious. White bread, pastries, sugary cereals, and candy, lollies, sweets, whatever you want to call them. These can spike your blood sugar levels and they will lead to energy crashes. When we consume these type of carbs, It's not a stable rise or stable blood sugar. We get a spike and then we get a crash. We also have processed foods and many processed foods are stripped of all of their good nutrients and are loaded with added sugars and unhealthy fats. And why? To give them flavor. Now, as shift workers, we need to be particularly mindful of the choices of carbs that we take. Opting for complex carbs that digest slowly can provide sustainable energy for us and prevent those absolute dreadful mid-shift slumps. Now, you've all found on night shift, I know I've done it on night shift, that you can get sucked into having those chocolates, chips, lollies, and damn Jenny's cake. And what happens is, while you get a peak and it feels great, the crash is awful. So let's look at timing and portion control. Now, timing your carb intake is just as important as choosing the right time. And I'm going to give you some tips. So as a pre-shift fuel, start your shift with a meal which is rich in complex carbs with lean protein as well as with healthy fats. Now, what I want you to think of here is oatmeal with nuts and berries, a whole grain sandwich with lean turkey and avocado. This will give you a steady release of energy over a period of time. None of that spike, none of that crash. As a mid-shift snack, keep snacks handy that combine carbs with protein or healthy fats. Keep your fats to a minimum as you're eating overnight though. But a piece of fruit with a handful of nuts, or let's have a look at some whole grain crackers with some cheese or a Greek yogurt with some berries can do wonders for literally maintaining your energy levels and will still give you that little bit of sweet that we look for. And the carbohydrates will slow down the oxidization of the protein and it will keep you feeling fuller for longer. Then we get to the end of our shift. And as a post-shift recovery, after a long shift, it's important that we replenish our glycogen stores. We'll also be coming out of a fast if we're on night shift, so we can have a balanced meal with carbs and protein. Now, this is where I have my proats, which is oats, cooked for about a minute in the about 40 grams of oats, covered in water, cooked in the microwave for about a minute, and then after that's cooked, adding a scoop of protein powder, mixing that and having that before I go to sleep. And this is ideal because the protein keeps you satiated for longer, The carbohydrate assists with the sleep and also, obviously, the digestion really, really well. If you're on a normal day shift and you're getting home and you're going to have a dinner, then something with carbs, protein and veggies is absolutely ideal. What about as a stir fry with brown rice, chicken, and put plenty of colourful veggies in it as a perfect example? And remember, portion control is actually crucial. 
because even good carbs can lead to weight gain if you consume in excess of them. So you've got to listen to your body. And if you haven't got a copy of it, get the hunger and satiety scale and have a look at that. Eat until you're satisfied. Don't eat until you're stuffed because in time, you will be more satisfied after you've stopped eating. Now, a few practical tips, and I'm going to give you a little bit of tough love here as well. Shift warriors, it's time for some tough love. It's easy to reach for that donut or smash that Coke or that sugar energy drink, which is the monsters or the Red Bulls that you're going to have overnight when you're tired and you're stressed. But keep in mind the caffeine content and the carbohydrates in here. These choices are literally setting you up on a roller coaster of energy highs and lows. Instead, prepare those meals and snacks in advance. Keep healthy options at your workplace. Keep them in your locker and stay highly hydrated because your body will thank you with sustained energy and much better overall health. Also, consider the social aspect of eating as well. Sharing a meal with colleagues can be a great way to bond and unwind, but just make sure those shared meals are balanced and nutritious. None of those, I'm a keto. How do you know someone's a keto? Yeah, you don't have to. They just tell you. The same as a vegan, all right? So anyway, meals, Balanced, nutritious, always make it easy, don't need to stand out. So there you have it. That's the benefits of carbohydrates and how to make them work for you as the shift worker. Carbs are not the enemy. They are your allies. They will make you feel fantastic when chosen wisely and consumed in the appropriate amounts. And by incorporating good carbs into your diet, you will find yourself with a lot more energy much better focused and improved overall health. Plus, keep this in mind too, carbs are also enormously beneficial around your training as they are in fact the fuel that drives your training. I highly recommend to my clients before they go training, a couple of rice cakes with a smear of raspberry jam or strawberry jam on it before you go training. Watch the difference that that makes. That's carbohydrate in its purest form, easy to digest, won't make you feel heavy, and will drive that training really, really well. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me on this episode of A Healthy Shift. Now, please, if you found this information helpful, please share it with your fellow shift workers and hit follow on our podcast. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you're notified for more tips on thriving in your unique work environment. Until next time, stay healthy and keep thriving. I hope this episode gives you clear understanding of the importance of carbohydrates and how they can support your health and energy levels as a shift worker. And remember, the goal is to thrive, not just survive. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe so you get notified whenever a new episode is released. It would also be ever so helpful if you could leave a rating and review on the app you're currently listening on. If you want to know more about me or work with me, you can go to ahealthyshift.com. I'll catch you on the next one.